Here in the centre of Bolton, it's 13.7 degrees. Bolton FM weather. I was born in Bolton in a town street, not too far away from here. I uh, went to school here, worked here. Bolton born, bred and buttered. Uh, I suppose that's where I am, really. We're going to Zachariah Mosque, which is the, the oldest mosque in Bolton. I call it really the Five Star Mosque uh, in terms of the water feature you see, the dome, the minaret, you know, the exhibition room and library, you know, that kind of stuff. When you walk in, there's marble, there's underfloor heating, uh, and that's what makes it a bit unique. It's a Friday today. It'll be absolutely packed with lots of shoes, but um, I always remember where I put my shoes because uh, I'm just home into that position. I'll just put my hat on um, uh, before I say my prayers, and that'll be the case for most Muslim men. It's not necessary a requirement, but most Muslim men will wear some sort of a hat and cover their hair, and, and likewise women as well. So I've just introduced you to Sadiq, who's in the office. Ah, Salaam Sadiq. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. How are you? All right. Good. Are you okay? My day-to-day -day job involves managing the accounts, social media, websites, um, HR for our, our employees as well. Everything that happens in the mosque, really. <laughs> On a daily basis, we attract around 1,500 people. So it's like a huge diversity here. <laughs> We have the opportunity to show them around the whole mosque for the children, for the teachers as well, for them to see uh, and learn about our faith. Are white Muslims wash before praying? Yeah. I have heard that uh, they were asked a question, though, where are the grenades kept? <laughs> um, which is it's kind of humorous, but it's very worrying at the same time too. How would they think of anything negative like that? It's just worrying and it's not fair, I think. The unknown is always scary. Until you know what's going on inside, you will always, in your mind, will, or the devil will always play with you that they did this and they're doing that. Once they come and see the masjid and the, they see the fact that we do nothing except worship our Lord, then it, it puts a lot of minds to rest. We are an, an attraction nationally in the UK. We are on the website and we have excellent reviews in our Google review as well. So that's brilliant. <laughs> When a person recites the Qur'an, automatically the whole body is just, he can't sit still, he has to just rock back and forth. There's also another aspect which is very important, and that is to keep the environment clean. As you can see, we beautify our mosque with Arabic scripture. We don't have any um, pictures of any idols or anything like that, or anything that would mimic mimics God's power or anything like that. This is a mimbar. It's where the Imam stands, okay, and he leads the prayer from that point. But this is also a direction. In Arabic, it's Qibla, which is a direction towards Makkah. We have classes that run for women. We have conferences that we have for women. So there is a lot of female participation within the mosque itself as well. We follow certain procedures. So we need to get the funeral done sort of as soon as possible. In this community in Bolton, we offer a fantastic service where they've got one person in charge of dealing with all the paperwork and everything gets done so efficiently and quickly. We are going to the minaret, which is part of the mosque. The call to prayer, it gets gets done by someone called the Muadhin. He gives an adhan. In Arabic means call to prayer. Assalamu alaikum. Half his name, how are you? Alhamdulillah. Are you okay? Alhamdulillah. A minaret is just a higher place, a place to be on a higher position. Obviously we have the mic systems now. When the mic systems are turned on, uh, the receiver at the home, if they've turned it on, then they'll hear the same sounds. So it's like a radio. Allah. 
أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله If I haven't done ablution at home, then I'll come in and do that in the mosque itself. And that is just literally wash, washing your um, various parts of your body um, three times. That's it, it's done. Okay, and that is the end of the ablution. I can now um, put my shirt and socks back on and say my prayers. Most people know by heart the, the Arabic verses that you have to pray as part of your uh, salah, it's called, uh, and your compulsive prayer. So it's, it's pretty straightforward and uh, people just pray that and, and they, they then fulfil their obligations. These mosques have to maintain themselves in terms of paying for the overheads and bills and every Friday this is what they raise the money for. So on a big mosque like this, you know, they will raise up to £1,000 every week. Final thing you do is you look for your shoes, if you can remember where you put them. Uh, and I can say, I home in on where I put my shoes and I know exactly where they are and they're always here. And I'm away of home. <laughs>